Hello again, everyone. Marcus here. Uh, I review stuff today. I'm reviewing the song Billabong Valley by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. So, still my birthday, and every song I pick today is going to be uh, one of my choosing. And so, I knew for sure on my birthday I had to get back to some King Gizzard. Um, and so, this still does come as a request. I am picking just from my list of requests. But yeah, for sure had to get back to King Gizzard. They're probably one of the favorite bands that I've heard on my channel. And then I remember, uh, I feel like people have been telling me that this Billabong Valley performance on uh, KEXP is, is like iconic from this band. So uh, really looking forward to listening to this one. And uh, yeah, well, you know, I, I guess I'll just, uh, I'll stop talking and we'll, and we'll get to it. So again, this is Billabong Valley, uh, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. And this is live on KEXP. Here we go.
Hell yeah. That was great. I really see um, <clears throat> why that one was just so highly requested. That was a really fun KDXP listen. Uh, real gro- groovy in parts, but also uh, you get a bit that really sounded like, um, you know, there were parts that really sounded to me like Crumbling Castle, which is like one of my favorite uh, King Gizzard songs. So uh, the fact that we could get like a touch of that to me was was really enjoyable. So uh, yeah, you know, just a solid song top to bottom. I was expecting, you know, Stu McKenzie going crazy there on the vocals, but kind of got a uh, muted take instead uh, from, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's like normally, uh, yeah, whatever. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's break the song down like we always do. Of course, starting with the lyrics. So apparently, uh, the lyrics almost out of an old Australian Australiana book have Ambrose singing tales of uh, Bold Bush Ranger Mad Dog Morgan. I like Ambrose's take on this one. I don't know his full name, unfortunately, but uh, let's see. It might tell me here. Ambrose Kenny Smith. Yeah, he did a great job uh, on the vocals there. Again, a little bit more, um, <laughs> uh, not as crazy and out there as Stu McKenzie, but, you know, still, I think, very appropriate for the song. So, Outlaws on the Run, Faster Than a Stolen Gun. Tied naked to the trees, killed so gruesomely. Burning tents to the ground, cops won't wave them down. The most wanted men, bush rangers reigning in. Interesting, yeah. Uh, some of this, like bush rangers, I think this, you know, some Australians speak there, but interesting stuff here. Outlaws on the run, you know, I think it didn't Australia used to be like a really wild, almost like a Wild West outlaw type thing, right? Uh, bloodthirsty tendencies, anti authority. Mad Dog Morgan, he never gave a warning. Mad Dog Morgan shot in the back by morning. Wow. Outlaws on the run faster than a stolen gun. Uh, tied naked to the trees, killed so gruesomely. Burning tents to the ground. Cops uh, won't wave them down. The most wanted men, bush rangers reigning in. Bloodthirsty tendencies, anti-authority. Mad Dog Morgan, he never gave a warning. Mad Dog Morgan shot in the... All right, cool. So, you know, just from my, like... American schema. I'm like, okay, Wild West. It sounds like the Wild West, right? Uh, but you know, being an Australian band, this is. I'm like, okay, you know, this is uh, speaking from like their experiences as Australians and like uh, kind of the history of that. And, and again, sort of being a lawless uh, sort of wasteland, if you will. So uh, in its infancy, and um, so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool lyrically. I give it two thumbs up. As far as the instrumentation goes, um, you know, I really loved uh, the guitar work throughout, especially those parts that really sounded more like uh, Crumbling Castle. Because, again, one of my favorite uh, King Gizzard songs, and to kind of get uh, sort of glimpses of that in this song, I think, was just really enjoyable. Uh, great ba- uh, bass work, great drum work from our two drummers. I think it's just so cool they have two drummers. Uh, great work on the keyboard. Just It really created a, a very groovy and easy-to-listen-to song, and it kind of just it kept me, you know, vibing along. Uh, Love the vocal performance, you know, both the lead vocals and the harmonizing, I think, were great. Um, again, not as, like, crazy and out there as what I'm used to from, like, Stu McKenzie, but I think uh, Ambrose did a fantastic job here. I mean, just really uh, conveyed, I think, the idea of the song. And, and again, sort of being, like, a Western, but, you know, obviously for, for Australians. Uh, but, you know, I thought it was great. So two thumbs up instrumentally and vocally as well. And then as far as replay value goes, this one's on the playlist, like no doubt. I had a great time listening to it. Again, very nice groove, uh, enjoyed the lyricism, and just an easy song to listen to. Very enjoyable. So two thumbs up across the board. Had a great time with it. Uh, can't wait to listen to it again. So thank you for whoever um, uh, suggested, requested this one. I almost went with, went with Rattlesnake instead because I'm also told that's one of the like really iconic songs, but... Um, decided to do this one. Hopefully Rattlesnake will come up soon. So anyway, uh, that's it for me. If you enjoyed the music as much as I did, definitely go support the artist. Go listen to their music wherever you can. One place you can definitely find this song and plenty more King Gizzard is going to be in my Spotify playlist. It's in the description below and has every single song I've, I've uh, listened to on my channel so far. Um, if you want to support me, you know, just all the normal stuff you do on YouTube. Like and subscribe and comment. Alright, well, um, my birthday bash continues next. I don't know what I'm going to listen to, but we'll find out. All right, I'll see y'all later. Bye for now.